In this video, we provide the solution to question number eight for practice exam number two for Math 1030, in which case a scheduler is building a schedule for a project with 10 tasks and three processors. At time seven, processor two finishes task B, you'll notice it's completed now, and begins working on task F, right? So let's mention here that processor two is currently working on uh, task F there. Um, processor one had started um, had started task A at time zero. So currently we're in time seven right here. So it's still working on it. So processor one is working on this one, All right? It's got three, three turns left before it finishes proce uh, task A. We also have pr uh, processor three is working on I4, which no you'll notice it's also an execution. We only have three processors, so we know all of them that they're working on, right? And this started at, so let's notice here, that at time seven, there's three turns left for task A. Um, this one has five turns left because we just started it. And this one right here, um, we started at time five, task I. Task I, that was two turns ago, so it has two turns left to do, like so, because they didn't ask, um, when is the next time that a processor needs to be assigned a task? So the thing is in two turns, um, task I will be completed. And so processor three will need a assignment at that moment. What that assignment is, who knows? But the thing is two turns from now is when the next job is gonna be necessary. And so that's gonna happen at time nine. So the answer would be C.